In this video, we'll show you four dynamic drills to do after you run to build strength and agility as well as improve coordination and balance for a more efficient running gait. First up is A skips. Staying on the balls of your feet, bring your knee up high in one fluid motion before quickly touching back down and doing the same on your other leg. Make sure the foot that's rising is dorsiflexed and allow the down foot to bounce or skip slightly off the ground when your knee reaches its range of motion upwards. Do this 10 to 15 times on each leg and start off slow to get the movement down before quickening your pace as seen here. Next is B skips. These are similar to A skips except in these, you're adding a second step. Instead of bringing your knee straight up and back down as you would in an A skip, here you'll bring your knee up, kick out, and then bring your foot straight back down. Kind of like a chicken scratching at the ground. This is another really good one to start off slow to ensure you're getting the correct motion before speeding it up. Just like with A skips, do this 10 to 15 times, remembering to stay on the balls of your feet. Our third drill is butt kicks. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Simply kick your heels up as close as you can to your butt and as quickly and as contained as possible. You don't wanna to kick too far back. Instead, what you wanna do is bring your knees up so that your heels remain almost directly beneath you. Do this 10 to 15 times on each leg. Our last drill will probably be the toughest. This one's called the lateral shuffle, AKA a very intense game of hopscotch. Crouching down slightly, start with both feet together. Then, getting up on the balls of your feet, you'll bring one foot out to the side, bring it back in, and then repeat with your other foot. It's actually pretty simple when you slow it down, but this one can definitely take some practice before you conquer the movement. As you're getting started, it helps to find a straight line, perhaps in a parking lot, to serve as a guide on where to place your feet. Feel free to simply walk through the steps and then gradually increase the pace as you get more comfortable. Do this one for 10 seconds. 